Thank you very much for joining us. It's really an honor to have you with us. You are a larger than life figure and uh, you're working at such a hectic pace right now and to take this time off, uh, very, very grateful. Uh, thank you, sir. Even for me, it's a great honor to be interviewed by you and uh, Shekharji. And, and bullied by Uma. Yeah, we got <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know her quite well. So. Right. Thank you. No, and uh, from what we've been saying, uh, you do films, you're, you're just hugely successful in films, but politics seems to be in your DNA in the sense that you feel you're, you're very idealistic. Are you too idealistic? For politics? Uh, sometimes I feel um, too idealistic. Um, sometimes even I myself feel, am I, I'm being, uh, am I being too impractical? But I said, uh, you have to have a, a, a kind of a maverick attitude uh, to achieve something. For me, I said, what do I lose? I, I always allow to walk into the unknown. Uh, so let if a, an individual goes to any extent to earn money, thousands of crores, I said, if he has the madness to pursue uh, that part to, to do, create a lot of suitcase companies and uh, to do a lot of scams, if they have that kind of madness, why can't I be the opposite? So I said, even I should. They have certain kind of extremity. And let me have this extremity, whether it gives me success or not, I don't know. But I prefer to do the, uh, to tread on this journey, to walk on this journey. So when you speak to uh, your supporters these days, you're campaigning, uh, what is the central message? And what's the most popular thing that you say? You're, a, you're an actor, so you must have something uh, that gets people really excited. I feel, you know, I don't give any my opinions as such, but what is there prevailing uh, amidst, uh, among, amongst them? What they wanted is, they don't want uh, welfare activities. They don't want... Uh, freebies. Uh, freebies. They said, give us future of, uh, for the next 25 years. Hmm. And when I, it, I picked it from one of, uh, one of the extra. So I said, it is not about uh, 25 kilos of free rice or 2,500 rupees. Um, Unemployment uh, you know, payment. Dole. Dole, yeah. Uh, it is, I'm here to give you, to work for your uh, future of uh, 25 years. And that's what. Uh, but then people who give the doles and freebies, they are the ones who win the elections. Maybe every time. Uh, you see, it's like what I believe in, you know, Nicholas Tillips, the black swan. Unless someone tries. Unless he does the other way, opposite, then no one believes in it. So I prefer to uh, give that surprise uh, constantly because I could see this change. People wanted change since 2004. And everyone, and even Mr. Modi, people wanted a change and that's what they rallied behind him. But BJP might be thinking like they created, the manufactured concern, but actually it is not, out of personal belief. The people wanted a change. They've been experimenting with different people, okay, in each and every state. Even here, they experiment with different people, even they try with my... So I believe, uh, uh, though, as you said, uh, the people who does uh, freebies and rules, there might be the ones as on now, but we don't know. We have to prove an example. That's it. Maybe these elections could be one. We you never have been know. involved with elections for quite a few years now. First with your brother, and then afterwards, 2014, should I say you were a kingmaker. This time, are you fighting to be king, kingmaker? No, this time I want to form my own, our own government because first of all, I don't like to entertain a thought of being uh, a kingmaker, and I don't like to use the word king because being democracy, I don't like to use the word uh, king or kingmaker. Both. We are here. I prefer a council, which really does uh, the right things for the society. And because if I say that I'm a in, the, in your in your particular phrase, words called a kingmaker or king. If I start saying, even thinking that, that means I'm not giving my best to fight independently. So even at a thought level, I don't think that way. I prefer to give my best uh, to have a majority, to, to win a majority of seats from our own government. But you've been Italian focusing interest. only on a few districts people no would way, see. No way, no way. Because I have traveled extensively for all these months. Though, because it's a conception, there's a perception which is clear, which has been created by uh, both the parties. So, uh, actually, for me, I have a firm. Because if they say I don't have strength in Royal Seymour, there are three and a half lakh people will be uh, running behind me. 
So repeatedly we have to prove it. Uh, but the problem is um, they have a political muscle and they have a, a knack to say it. So that's the, what they injected into everyone's mind. So constantly I have to counter it by the, this way. Right. So what is your vision? I know you have a manifesto, but generally behind all that, you wanted to enter politics since you were quite young. But, <coughs> so what is your vision? What would you like to see and be remembered as? That you, what you'd no, like to me, do? For uh, me, the vision is about... So when I was growing up, my biggest dilemma was we grew up in times of, uh, as well as growing up, Cold War was happening, still uh, Soviet Union, so Soviet Russia was there. And uh, Berlin Wall was uh, still existing. And in, my, in our schools, they were, taught, they were teaching us about the patriotism, they were teaching about uh, great national leaders, how they were, uh, how they had sacrificed their life. But in reality, what we used to see is a corrupt uh, political leaders. For me, I could not uh, comprehend both. And how come they're teaching us this? How come these guys are doing it? And they used to come for our functions. What I hear on, on roads, this is guy is a corrupt MLA. And these guys used to come, I said, uh, the respectable MLA of uh, so-and-so constantly is coming. And please take, somehow I never used to, it used to create a conflict in me. So that made me to go deeper into it. Uh, and as I was growing up, I went into Sangh. Uh, I look, used to look at, a lot of Sangh activities used to be there. And a lot of uh, uh, radicals used to be there. Radical uh, meetings used to be there when I was in my post 10th, 10th grade and intermediate. Radical meaning radical left? Yeah, radical left, yes. So I was in a conf state of confusion. What is right? Because I, we want to do something. I think which way, I, what, what thought I have to embrace to do something. So who did you get closer to? Radical left or radical right? Somehow I believe um, you have to be st uh, stand in the centre. No, but when you were uh, watching them, who influenced it, you more? Uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, the fight for justice uh, left used to really left influence is. me. And sometimes uh, uh, the needed uh, cultural understanding is to come from uh, song. This is not that I actually participated in both, but I used to watch, I used to watch from a distance, and I used to, I could never understand how come uh, people of that stage, uh, what makes them to do what they're doing. So my entire thought, for a greater time, till, even till 31, I was in this state of confusion. I think by 29 or 30, then I realized, oh, we have to be somewhere balanced, and uh, and uh, for, for uh, strangely, I don't know that you might accept it or not. Mr. M. J. Akbar's book, I read it when I was an 18 or 19, right after riot. So I was, I want to make a documentary out of it, uh, out of one of the incidents. So I was thinking about it. Suddenly, after a few years, uh, his articles have st started changing, and suddenly now. He be going into the uh, Bharati Janata Party. Somehow I could not. This used to see. I used to see examples, not at uh, Mr. M. J. Akbar's level, but at uh, at my at my property. It's in my vicinity. People who hated uh, left, they went into right. People who hated the right, they went into left. I said, then I want to embrace. Okay, I like this guy. Let me go with him. Then suddenly he said, uh, after six months, Kalyan is not right. I will go with something. Else. So I was very kind of confused. So. Uh, I, I didn't go into any. I was watching myself. I was watching everyone. Then I started picking up what is right. So it was quite confusing for me for uh, close to 15 years. So, so what would you like to see? How would you like to change? Uh, uh, how do you like to make a difference in politics? <clears throat> because some first my fundamental priority is for uh, constitutional rights and. Uh, the fairness in uh, whatever an individual has to get in the, the society. And third would be a sense of protection and sense of well-being should be there in society. No matter what kind of economic background I come from, what kind of cultural background I come from, I shouldn't be intimidated in my own country. And You think that's getting worse? It is getting worse and I had seen it. It's not something I imagined it, I had seen it. For example, Telangana, it is not uh, suddenly Mr. KCR has started. When I was in Nello, it is an uh, extreme part of the other, other side of Andhra Pradesh. 
when I was in 10th grade, one of my friends went to Hyderabad to study and he was um, beaten and bullied by a few Telangana kids and they came back and he said, what happened, why did you come back? I said, they told me I'm an Andhra guy and uh, they were constantly we fighting. Uh, then I said, that stuck in my, deep in my mind, embedded uh, deeply into my mind. So from there, when we shifted from uh, Chennai to Hyderabad, I realized there is no cultural integration between the same, uh, from two regions who speak the same language, but I mean a, a little uh, dialectical difference. Dialect is a bit different. Then I just wonder what made them not to blend with each other. That means somewhere I feel uh, the elected representatives or the social or political, uh, social political leadership didn't made it happen at a political level they were very extremely close with each other but to, when you go down it is not uh, it's not percolating now so you're fighting from both states yeah. for that reason no no not about that reason for me for me it was a uh, uh, in my heart it is as one region for me that's what i mean yes but do you regret 2014 you uh, backed mr naidu and the telugu desam yeah yeah and uh, by extension also Mr. Narendra Modi, he in fact would invite you to the rise and make you sit there and I remember those <laughs> meetings. So uh, what is your report card on the Prime Minister and Mr. Chandra Babu? It's Naidu? a very simple side, one single sideline, I can, two sentences I can say. Uh, people like me, uh, we rallied behind uh, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, believing in that he gives a very strong and strong leadership. For me, strong leadership means which upholds the integrity, which will minimize the divisiveness, which will bridge the cultural misunderstanding. Because I, as we were go going through, the entire parliament went through that process of Telangana separation. So we rallied behind that with a lot of admiration and uh, respect and love. But the moment he, he took charge of everything, it is the fear psychosis which was, uh, uh, he wanted to run the, uh, he was creating fear psychosis and India love always rally behind a leader who adores, who respects, he, we all seek, when he gives, when he does it with a lot of love and uh, thing, like people are willing to listen but when he try to create fear psychosis and try to force them and rule them, uh, you, people are bound to that. Uh, you you didn't find him give any, dispense any love and affection after he became prime minister. For me, no, no generally. Did he invite no, you sir, to join no, no, the no. BJP also? Yeah, no, yeah. In fact, they, they asked me to join in BJP. I said, uh, if I have to join in BJP, I would have started a party. That's what my answer was. Uh, definitely. No, it's not Modi ji. Someone else asked me. Uh, then my first thought was, uh, I don't know how to say it. Post uh, when when uh, Parliament I mean after uh, after swearing in, I met a few BJP leaders and uh, even I met uh, Modi ji. I sensed that your you guys your job is done now you can go home. That's mm. what I sensed. Ah. But it cannot be proven. It is a simple body language, uh, a simple nod. You sense it. You were used in that sense in 2014 election. You feel the moment I finished the election, I could sense it. I see. Uh, but I said, I'm fine. I said, this is a process which I have chosen, so I don't have any complaint about it. So experience, you learned. Yeah, I learned, learned by I'm experience. fine with that. But when you say that uh, the disappointment is increasing disappointment, diversity. Disappointment, my first notice was, um, because me being a, a, an actor, I come from a, an acting background. My fundamental first thought, I, what, I, what I didn't like was uh, Pune Film Institute's uh, issue. Right. And students were, uh, they wanted something of their own. I said, why do you want to force someone to, so, who is not of their kind? That's the first thing which I didn't like. And later, for everything was, uh, you know, escalating. I said, you cannot bring, uh, and every change, you know, right from, uh, regarding Rohit Vemula Central University, I think there was no, never the need for to take it to such an extent. They could have uh, nullified it at a very smaller level. And suddenly, the, somehow, I was not feeling comfortable for each and every thing. And especially with the demonetization, I said, uh, India, you cannot give a shock to India. Mm. Uh, it, it, even if you want to, uh, uh, a revolutionary change, it should be incremental. It cannot be uh, overnight. It was very disappointing for me to look at from today onward, this note is uh, worthless. And I said, how, 
a man of that stature who heads the country, how could he even dare to say that? And it was scary for me. Uh, then I said, I kept quiet. I said, hey, my dilemma was, how come I didn't trust him blindly? I mean, that, that much I can tell you. But will people go to that extent, even uh, to one single, one, 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 one might, like they can... Some uh, political observers say you are uh, playing for Mr. Chandrababu Naidu and that you will help him win by criticizing uh, YSR Congress. See, the, the problem is, uh, that's how it, it can be perceived from, uh, from which side you're, from you're looking at. If you look at it from the people's point of view, from the uh, people's perception, and people are able to understand me. If you look at it from YSRCP point of view, why they're saying it is, uh, they came with a number of times, they came with a proposal that we should work together. And uh, I said, okay, you don't like what uh, the ruling government is doing? I said, because I don't like to name, uh, I would like to give it. Uh, then I said, it's fine. Uh, first tell your leader to go to assembly. As I'm fighting outside, he has the a role to play in assembly. That's his constitutional uh, responsibility as a position leader. He should go into assembly, let him uh, rake up all whatever, uh, let him fight in assembly. If he doesn't want to go to assembly, then I said, uh, what is the purpose? Then he said, no, no, they, go, they bought off our MLS, so we're not going to go. And we, cannot, we don't like to face them. I said, that cannot be, even if you're all alone, go and fight. So you will carry on both politics and cinema. I hope you will not lose that great talent that you have in cinema. Um, actually, frankly speaking, I struggle to do a cinema. You struggle? I struggle to act. I mean, I st I mean, it's a tough job for me to perform because I prefer to be as natural as possible. So if something happens in the same line, okay, this is my performance, then I said I'm fine to do acting. But, <laughs> really, really. <laughs> but you're not bringing acting to cinema, I, I to politics? Know, I don't know. I, I bring this the element best to the screen. And I believe <laughs> you, you, you're an action hero with lot, lots of martial arts. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I, I, I like uh, the, the learn. I learned the screamer, kickboxing, and uh, karate, of course. I um, think you are ideally suited for politics, for acting and kickboxing. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> can you, you can want? you can you stab people in the back? Is there a martial arts like that? No, then you will be a great politician. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stab in back. <laughs> then to <the> chance nahi <laughs> Trouble Maybe situations. Any change. lessons that you learned from your brother's experience? He did get a substantial amount of uh, the vote uh, at that no, time. No, no. From my brother's experience, what I learned was. Uh, uh, we have to be, you cannot be dependent on anyone else. A leader is a, a, quite a, a journey, of the, it's a sol he has to live in solitude. It's a very solitary journey. There's no support system, no matter how much you see, you might be right. surrounded by low hordes of people, but still you, you're all alone inside. And the decision, you're the only decision maker, and no one is going to support you. Very interesting. And uh, something goes wrong, it weighs you, uh, it weighs heavily on you, and you should be able to take that weight. And uh, that's a difficult choice for my brother because he's a very soft at heart, very tender at heart. Yes. yes, yes, yes. For me, uh, I'm okay. Do you have a view on Rahul Gandhi? You told us your view on Modi, but Rahul Gandhi? Rahul Gandhi, I don't know. I think people uh, put him down too much. I mean, they mock at him too much, which, I, which is not right. Sometimes I feel, um, uh, he, I think he is... Um, he has his own thinking, though he might, maybe he's disinterested mm -hmm. for being like that. I think on, on purpose, I think, uh, out of disinterest, I think he must be, be behaving like that. But actually, deep down, I think he has a lot of commitment. That's what I feel. And you can never undermine any individual. Uh, just uh, whatever being is being uh, projected outside. And tell us a bit about your alliance partner, Mayavati, and your experience working with Mayavati, her. Mayavati, uh, with her, uh, see, in 2008, uh, we had a lot of... Um, uh, common uh, who wanted to, apart from the uh, regular parties, there was another third group, a lot of different uh, groups, they wanted to come together. And they had seen me because they know my social commitment. They came and approached me, why don't you work for B, uh, BSP? In fact, uh, uh, though it didn't come from IOTG then, uh, but it came from one of the state BSP leaders. Why don't, if you had BSP in uh, Unified Andhra Pradesh, right. Uh, we'd like to, uh, we'll okay. give you as a prime, chief minister candidate. And I said, uh, my brother is about to start a party. <laughs> and that will be uh, doing injustice, even if I, even if I can't say, I contemplate. I said, I'm sorry, I cannot do it. 
and that's how actually the started. Lead, uh, star started. And uh, constantly we used to in 2014 they wanted to some kind of but there were no local leadership. Uh, but one of the, one individual whom I trust, um, he brought a notice that they wanted to meet me. So I went and approached. Uh, uh, so it was from uh, the moment I met her, it was a very cordial meeting and it was uh, quite uh, affectionate. And the, and uh, the most beautiful thing she said was, it's not about uh, seat sharing and all. It is about she wants to see a good leadership in each and every state. Okay. And that's what she believes in, and uh, that's what uh, that's how we got connected with. But your challenge is formidable because in this region, in these two states, there are already three strong state-level regional leaders. Who are three, sir? <laughs> well, this case here, there is Babu, there is Jagan. It's a David and Goliath, I'd say. Huh. David and Goliath. <laughs> See, I want to end by, sorry, you want to have another question? No, I was just asking, all those crowds, frenzy that is around you all right. the time, are they your fans or are they coming for also Pawan Kalyan who is no, promising to be has, a politician? That, that they had seen me enough, that part has been finished. If you look at it, even with all the fringiness, we got around 23% uh, in uh, 2009. And we could uh, shift the vote, same percentage of vote to TDP. Uh, so the, then you cannot, uh, the fringiness is out of also a mad adoration and because I believe they are believing in something which a man is able to carry, the, live up to his ideals. I think that's the thing. It's not about being a, me being an actor. That is one layer. That's so I would like you like to end with you teaching us something, I'm which you have, this. which you are well known for. <laughs> <laughs> your gesture. <laughs> I want you. This is this is a gesture when you saw something terrible happening to a woman being bullied. You, what, when you see terrible politics, was same gesture. What is the gesture? And yeah, how do we do it? I'll be like, like this, I'll be thinking what, what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the beard. famous one that you didn't mean it to become I didn't famous. mean it to happen, it just happened. So just so. think of a terrible political scene <laughs> and what will you do? I'll have a, a blank look. No, no, this, I want to see this one. <laughs> you want to see this one? <laughs> how was, how is it done? What, what did you do and how did it happen? Uh, it happened because um, in one of the films called Badri, uh, a girl will be getting bullied, uh, one of the, uh, uh, my character, one of the heroine character will getting bullied, I think, uh, Amisha Patel, I think. As she gets bullied, uh, then I have to see, I have to bear it for a while, then I don't know what to do, how to face this guy, that little annoyance will be there. So, to show that annoyance, what I did was I was doing this, or maybe something I did like this. I think. <laughs> I think that became. A <laughs> that became. A <laughs> I think you do this every day in politics also. <laughs> Shrikhar, now I, let me see you do it. Are kya? Not a patch. <laughs> you can do it. I'm happy to watch I'm you do it. <laughs> you, you, you. I've already done it. <laughs> do it again. You did quite all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, Thank very you. much. Thank God you. bless you.